In June of 1965, the astronauts of the Gemini 4 space mission took the first publicly released photos of the RECOT structure from space. So incredible and mysterious is the structure to scientists and researchers, they have yet to adequately explain the 25-mile formation having already dismissed an asteroid strike. Boldly, we propose that the model used to explain the west coast of North America, the yin and yang galvanic battery, the plasma discharge eye of Horus circuit, and the mythical serpent eats the charge, are the same model forces at work in carving the landscape of the entire region we know today as Africa and Europe. Lake Victoria in Eastern Africa is surrounded by volcanoes. The entire region represents the hot wet cathode once again fed by the Helmholtz coils rooted in Mount Kilimanjaro and Mount Kenya. Here is your primary battery connected through the tear duct to our anode Eye of Horus located in the middle of the Red Sea. Once the anode formed, the accompanying magnetic field would emerge to form our eyeball as the magnetic field set up at a 90 degree angle to the charge. The eyebrow formed an anode at the Straits of Gibraltar or the area more historically known as the Pillars of Hercules. We'll be coming back to talk about Hercules in just a moment. Finally, the lower eyelash spirals down and plants solidly on what we today call the Eye of the Sahara, the recot structure. This caused the stripping of electrons from the limestone in a circuit back to the positively charged plasma cloud connected to the anode eye. The recot structure itself represents current flow to it from the large magnetite and iron deposit to its northwest, known as Kadite Hill. This would have provided the return connection path in the circuit between it, the iron mountain of Kadite Hill, the highly charged atmosphere above, and the ground, permitting the creation of intense plasma arcing and very strong ground morphing magnetic fields in the circular pattern. The evidence for high-speed wind blowing perpendicular to the ring matches the magnetic field configuration. The forces were so great, all other material was forced to blow around the eye. This also created a fractal expression of the Eye of Horus. Let's look back for a moment at the Pillars of Hercules. The Pillars of Hercules, according to myth, were said to be as far as Hercules traveled. We can interpret this to say that an electrical event occurred at the Pillar. Myth tells us of the 12 labors of Hercules, or the 12 tasks he had to complete for redemption. The first being to defeat the lion, and the second being to defeat the serpent. Are we seeing a pattern? The Pillars of Hercules and the battle with the Chthonic monsters of the underworld represent the serpent eating the charge at the Pillars of Hercules and completing the charge back to our battery at Lake Victoria. In one of the later 12 labors, Hercules clears 30 years worth of immortal horse stone perhaps another metaphor to be considered at another time. Recently, there has been excitement around the theory that the Recot structure is the ruins of the lost city of Atlantis, based on notations of old maps and the concentric rings and circular form of the Recot structure. While we can't say the area was or wasn't Atlantis, if it was Atlantis, it was one hell of a shot by the gods, but then again, the aim of the gods is probably pretty good. Whatever was there, it's obliterated now. Personally, if the choice of how it was formed is fire or water, I'm going with fire. This does not appear to be a city stuck in mud, as the legends say Atlantis was after the flood. Like, 
share, subscribe. Most of all, comment and give us your thoughts. Peace.